Hey guys, welcome back. So today we'll be going over multiplying and dividing integers. So let's say for an example, we had to multiply two times negative five. Two times negative five is gonna give us negative 10. But before we do that, let's look at some definitions so that we can be familiar with when we are multiplying our integers. So remember that factors, numbers that are multiplied together. So in this example here, I have two factors. My two is a factor, and then my negative five is a factor. The product, the result when two or more numbers are multiplied together, is going to be your negative 10. Negative 10 is your product. Your integers, remember what integers are. Integers are negative numbers, the number zero, and positive numbers. So in this example, with the two and the negative five, the number two is an integer, and also negative five is also an integer. And then of course, if you have your quotient, quotient, let's say if we have 12 divided by three, this equals four. Remember your quotient is the number that results from dividing. So your four in this example is your quotient. Remember your 12 here is going to be your dividend. And then your three here is your divisor. And then if you were to write your division problem like this, remember your 12 is on the inside, that's your dividend. Your divisor, which is your three is on the outside. And then you have your quotient on top. And then if you were to get any numbers here that's left over at the bottom, that would be your remainder. So if we look at the same example, we said two times negative five, this is gonna give us negative 10. So the product of two integers with different signs, your answer is going to be negative. So look at this example here, my two, this is a positive two. And then you have a negative right here, which is a negative five. That means that you're going to get a negative answer, which is what we have here. So let's say we had negative five times two. This is also going to be negative. This is gonna be negative 10 as your answer. And let's say if we had six times negative eight, six times negative eight is negative 48. And then what if we had negative eight times six? Negative eight times six, this is also going to be negative 48. What if we had five times negative three? Five times negative three is negative 15. And then if we had negative three times five, this is also going to be negative 15. What if we had nine times negative two? Nine times negative two is negative 18. And then if you had negative two times nine, this is also going to be negative 18. Now let's say if we had two times five, two times five is 10. So the product here of two integers with the same sign is positive. So notice here, you do have a positive two right here and you have a positive five right here and that's gonna give us a positive answer. So now let's say if we had negative two times negative five, your answer here is still going to be positive. So I have a negative sign right here for my two and I also have a negative sign here. You're gonna get a positive 10 as well. Just like if you have negative four times negative three, this is gonna give you a positive 12. Or if you have negative three times negative seven, this is gonna give you a positive 21. Or if you have six times four, six times four, this is gonna give you a positive 24. What if you had negative five squared, something like this? Negative five squared, this means you have negative five times negative five. I have two integers here with the same sign. That means your product is going to be positive. So negative five times negative five is going to be a positive 25. And what if you had something like this? Let's say we had negative two times three times negative nine. And we would do the same thing. We have negative two times three. This is gonna be negative six. And then you have negative six times negative nine this is going to give you a positive 54. So let's say we had 16 divided by negative eight. This is gonna give me a negative two. 
So the quotient, we talked about product before because we were multiplying. Now that we're dividing, we're looking at the quotient of two integers with different signs, you're going to get a negative answer. This example we just did here, we have a positive 16 and you have a negative eight. Since I have two different signs, your answer is going to be negative. So if you had negative 24 divided by three, your answer here is gonna be negative eight. If you had 36 divided by negative two, your answer here is gonna be negative 18. If you had negative 40 divided by eight, your answer here is gonna be negative five. Now, what if we said the quotient of two integers with the same sign, this is going to be positive. So in this example here, we have a negative right here for my 16. We also have a negative here for my eight. That means that I am going to get a positive answer. So the quotient of two integers with the same sign, that means you're going to get a positive answer. So negative 30 divided by negative 15, this is going to equal just a positive two. If you have negative 28 divided by negative seven, this is gonna equal a positive four. Even if you had negative 10 divided by negative two, this is gonna equal a positive five. Let's look at these examples here. So my first example, we have negative eight times negative six. So remember the product of two integers with the same sign, that means I'm gonna get a positive answer. So negative eight times negative six, this is gonna be a positive 48. Let's look at this one, 16 divided by negative four, this is gonna equal negative four. I have a positive 16 here, and then you have a negative four here, your answer is going to be a negative number. Let's look at this, five times negative seven times nine. So I'm gonna do five times negative seven, this is gonna be negative 35. Then you have negative 35 times nine, this is gonna equal negative 315. Let's look at the next one, negative four times five, this is gonna equal negative 20. And then the next one here, negative two times negative seven, this is gonna equal a positive 14. Let's look at these examples here. So we have negative three squared, this equals negative three times negative three, and negative three times negative three, this is gonna give me a positive nine. Let's look at the next example, negative four times five times negative seven, so negative four times five, this is gonna give me a negative 20. And then you have negative 20 times negative seven. This is gonna give me a positive 140. Let's look at the next one, negative 25 divided by negative five. This is going to give me a positive five. 64 divided by negative eight, this is gonna give me negative eight as my answer. We have a positive 64 here and a negative here, that means you're gonna get a negative answer. Let's look at these examples here. We have negative 30 divided by 10. This is gonna give me a negative three as my answer. Negative 49 divided by seven, this is gonna give me a negative seven as my answer. We have a negative here, and then you have a positive seven here. You're gonna get a negative as your answer. Here we are multiplying. We have a positive seven here, and a negative eight here, you're going to get a negative as your answer as well. So your answer here is negative 56. So let's look at this one on top here. We have negative 14 times negative two. You're gonna get a positive answer and this is gonna be a positive 28. Next, we have eight times negative nine. This is gonna be negative 72. Next, we have negative seven times negative seven. So negative seven times negative seven. Don't forget this square here means that you're, you're writing out your negative seven two times. So negative seven times negative seven, this is gonna be a positive 49. And then negative five cubed, this is gonna be negative five times negative five times negative five. Negative five times negative five, this is gonna be a positive 25. However, you have 25 now times your negative five, which is what we have here. 
and this is going to give you a negative 125. Let's look at these examples here. We have negative 5 times 8. Negative 5 times 8, this is going to give you a negative 40. 12 times 5, this is going to give you a positive 60. Negative 3 times negative 9, this is going to give you a positive 27. And then here we have negative 4 times negative 8. You're going to get a positive 32 as your answer. Let's look at these examples here on the right. So we have negative 4 times negative 8 times negative 2 times negative 5. So let's do negative 4 times negative 8. This is going to give me a positive 32. And then we have positive 32 times my negative 2 and then times your negative 5. So 32 times your negative 2, this is going to give me a negative 64. Negative 64 times your negative 5, you're now going to get a positive 320. Now let's look at the example down here. We have 6 times negative 2. This is going to give me negative 12. And then we also have a negative 7. So now we have negative 12 times negative 7. This is going to give you a positive 84. We have a negative 12 here and then a negative 7 here, which is going to give us a positive 84. Let's look at these examples here. So we have 50 divided by negative 5. I have a positive divided by a negative. That means I'm going to get a negative answer, and this is going to be negative 10. Next, we have 28 divided by 7. We have two positives divided by each other, so your answer is just going to be a positive 4. Next, we have negative 60 divided by 3. You're going to get a negative 20 because we do have a negative 60 right here, and we have a positive 3. So the negative divided by the positive, you're going to get a negative answer. 84 divided by negative 4, you're going to get a positive 21. Negative 34 divided by negative 2, you're going to get a positive 17. Negative 42 divided by negative 6, you're going to get a positive 7. 121 divided by negative 11, you're going to get negative 11. Negative 39 divided by negative 13, you're going to get a positive 3 as your answer. Here you have negative 108 divided by 12, you're going to get a negative 9 as your answer. And then the last one here, 64 divided by negative 8, you're going to get negative 8 as your final answer. All right, so that is all for today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.